How was the party? Fine. I especially enjoyed your halftime show with the policeman. I'm sorry, Dad. I guess it's pretty embarrassing to have your son dragged in by the cops in front of all those people, huh? No more embarrassing than having to tell all your friends you've been grounded for two months for drinking. Now, Dad, don't jump to conclusions. I know you may find this hard to believe, but I wasn't drinking tonight. The cops found you in the back seat of an open convertible with a blonde in one hand and a beer in the other. <laughs> True or false? True. But I wasn't drinking and I was holding it, like they do in beer commercials. <laughs> Honest, Dad. You weren't drinking? Nope, not tonight. <laughs> what do you mean, not tonight? Well, you're not gonna like this, but... Well, last night, I did drink. But not nearly as much as the others. What others? The other kids at the party. What party? I knew you weren't gonna like this. Well, you see, last night, Greg and I went kind of crazy, and we snuck out to a party, and I did a little drinking. Well, actually, I did a lot of drinking, and I got a little sick, too. Dad, the veins in your neck are starting to pop. I don't believe this. Sneaking out, drinking? What else have you been doing I don't know about? Well, there was... I don't want to hear about it. Dad, I know it was stupid, and I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry, too. Ricky, no, drinking at your age is illegal, it's dangerous. Why would you do a thing like this? Dad, it was there. Everyone else was drinking. And you couldn't just say no? Dad, I couldn't say no. I would have felt like a wimp. This is the last thing I'd expect from you. Well, like I said, you're grounded for two months. Right. No TV. Right. No stereo. Stereo? Right. <laughs> Dad, believe me, I really am sorry. I am too. <laughs>